Hey folks, welcome back, and we're here. We're here with the final two episodes of Infinity Train. This is my reaction to season four, episode nine, the Castle Car, and episode ten, the Train to Nowhere Car. I couldn't remember the title. <laughs> I was like, wait, what is it called again? I remembered. Uh, but yeah, it, I'm gonna miss this show. Uh, it's a shame, you know, Owen. Dennis never got to realize his full vision and explore, you know, more of the Infinity Train and give us more seasons. Uh, you know, and it's a shame that, you know, this season four seems like kind of like a transition season. Like, it's not necessarily like going to really build on the lore and the and the overall narrative of the show. This was kind of just a nice little journey uh little little palate cleanser from season three and i'm sure season five was going to be something epic i'm sure uh maybe explore some stuff with amelia and whatnot but uh but yeah i've enjoyed my time with this show it's been an absolute blast it's been emotional it's been devastating it's been everything you can think of and it's a shame it doesn't have a larger audience than it does it deserves that it really it really does i try to turn as many people as i can to this show to check out granted it's a shame what happened to it on streaming. HBO Max kind of got rid of it, you know, and it's very hard for people to kind of seek out unless they pay for it, where you obviously you try to find it through other means. But but yeah, I'm going to miss it, and I can't wait to uh, watch these fine two episodes and see what happens with Min, Ryan, and Kez. Uh, we just met Morgan finally, who we technically did see, you know, in that photo. It was the castle itself, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, as always, uh, before we start the reaction, if you enjoyed today's reaction, please consider liking the video. Would really much appreciate that. But uh, folks, let's give it a watch. The final two episodes of Infinity Train. Act cool. Uh, uh, hmm? <laughs> <Bad>. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that. You said the guy in the photo was Morgan, your roommate. Nah, man. The castle is Morgan. Yeah. That other guy was Jeremy. Jeremy. <laughs> you don't get to say his name. What happened to Jeremy? You took him from me. Interesting. Well, these guys are here, huh? So you won't be lonely anymore. Oh, did Jeremy get off the train? Maybe. That's why you brought us here. Ooh, ulterior motives. Like that. It'll be great for all of us. Oh no, Kez, you weren't honest. Live together. Wow. So Morgan was very taken with Jeremy. Maybe Jeremy got off the train. Maybe Kez kind of inadvertently helped him. The Living Castle? That's a great idea, though. That's awesome. That's something like out of a horror movie. I thought she was sending us to a dungeon or something. This is Jeremy's room. Oh, they're gonna be prisoners. They're the new Jeremy. Kez, what did you do? Oh no. So Kez having her own issues with a friend here. Oh no, Jeremy loves mini quiches. Mini quiches. And a lot of Stop. Oh. They're good guys. If I kill these two, you can just go get more. I wasn't trying to replace wow. Jeremy. I just didn't want you to be alone. He's gonna come here, use me, and leave. Like every other passenger. Oh. Jeremy was different. He fixed parts of me when they broke. He polished things to make them shine. It was an accident! Oh. So I wonder what exactly I have a feeling he did get off the train. Maybe Morgan inadvertently helped him realize, come to his realization, and he grew. Okay, Castle's trying to kill them. Enjoy your stay. Ugh. You okay? I thought she'd like stop being mad and let me come home. What about us? Yeah. We just want to go home too. I mean. Oh, Kez, why? weren't really going down. Kez, so. Kez. So I thought, you know, why here, you'd be able to stay together without all the hangups you had back home. Everyone's mad at me all the time. Friends don't do this. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Communicate. Yeah, Kez, you do. It's that you don't think about how things will affect other people. And then when people yeah. get mad, you act like, oh, no, what happened? She so has weird. a tendency to do and that. Just float away like, well, it's their problem now. La, la, la. <laughs> I'm a bell. Listen, as much as I love Kez, I do recognize that she has some big flaws. You never actually apologize. With how she treats what? others. Yeah, I do. But you never say sorry. Uh, well, I mean, well... They're Canadian, Mike. Like, sorry. Misunderstandings. Get out. Wow. 
This is like legitimately one of the first times we've seen Ryan this angry. Listen, there's no sugarcoating it. What she did was very wrong. Possible Jeremy died because of something she did? I want to say no, but... I'm trying to figure out if Jeremy's dead After or got off this? the trade. I wish Mom and Sandra could see this. It's so beautiful. Definitely a lot better than the apartment sophomore year with all the bees. <laughs> But yeah, Kez has a lot of growing up to do as well, unfortunately. Got the perfect trilby today. Trilby? I'm gonna go out on a limb and it's a hat. Jeremy loves hats. Classic Jeremy. Closer to the end. Here, it's the fifth anniversary of me living with Morgan and Kez. Wow. Did you just say fifth? Five years. Stuck here for five years. You could be here for an infinite amount of time. A bunch of passengers were here for my first anniversary. Well, until you die. But it's just me now. But I know all the goodbyes have been taking a toll. Wow. She closed off the whole east wing last week. That's gotta be tough for uh, Morgan. Uh, Ryan. Losing people like that constantly. Kez said some stuff that freaked me out today. Morgan asked why I've been distant lately. But what if I tell her and she hates me? He got off the train. And we Ke talked to Kez about it at breakfast. First. And Kez kind of got him I there. Mean, this started with Kez anyway. Huh? You know, Jeremy doesn't live here. He has a right to get off the train. Come on. We have to find her. So I can't I can't be mad at Kez for that. Honestly. It's nighttime? But it's like imagine being like there. being immortal and just forming relationships and losing them like that. How that must be out? terrible. Oh. So I understand Morgan Morgan's being like upset, Morgan's but we read I don't think Kez did anything wrong in this situation. With you. In that particular situation. What happened? Because oh. we're about to find out here, I'm sure. Then that morning he started talking about his car crash. Hmm. He told me I said some things that had him thinking about it more and more. I say a lot of things. <laughs> you do. Anyway, he told me he was driving one night and it was super foggy and this car came at him head on because the driver couldn't see and crashed. <gasps> but his mom and sister were in the car. Oh, no. They died. <gasps> it was obvious he blamed himself, Aww. you know. So I told him it wasn't his fault. That's why he's on he the train. Him, but I could the tell guilt, him it, blaming so I himself. Like, okay, but for real. And then all I said was, I think even though That's you horrible. live here, you never really left that fog. And then out of nowhere, wow. his number went to zero and his exit appeared. What? Yeah. I don't think he meant to yeah, leave. Yeah, it seems like he really it's needed luck. to come to terms like, and confront that. that to a mystical vortex. She got there just in time to see him get sucked through. Oof. Morgan, was not happy about that one. I miss him too, you know. He was my friend. It was the right thing, though. He had to leave. I messed up. So you didn't mess bad. up at all. Stop. Our numbers are supposed to go down. Yep. Oh, isn't that the whole nice point little sound this? effect? Yeah. So you didn't mess up. You did what you're supposed to do. You helped Jeremy deal with the really horrible, sad thing that happened to him. Mm. It's not fair for Morgan to be mad at you for it. Sad, yeah, but not mad. Yeah. I helped. You did you help. You lied about why you were bringing us here, bad and that too. was really, really wrong. That part's bad. But the other part, good. <laughs> she didn't do anything you're wrong. Basically, good, Kez. You mean you well. Just need to like get better at it. Yeah. Yeah. She does mean well. We know that. She's not a bad. Yeah. Person. Morgan disagrees. Of course. What is happening? Morgan, That's not good. Oh! Is this the train? Is this 1-1? One, one? Oh, look who's back. Where is this Amelia? Hello. New, new announcement. You're all on your own now, so... Uh, Amelia has taken over. We are all on our own. Okay, how do I... Holy shit, this was the moment Amelia took over. That is wild. Now it's a free for all on this trade. Yo. Wow. See, I knew there's gonna be something important, really important about this season. And we're we're here at the moment. Two or two. We were here at the moment that but it didn't change. One one has been <laughs> kicked out. Oh no, are they ever gonna get off this train now? It's always gonna be something, huh? Ryan! 
because Amelia, whatever roles that one one had on this train are gone now, and now it's a free for all. I knew something was going to happen. There was a reason why they showed Amelia earlier in the season, right? And there was a reason we had that one little moment when one one with that robot kind of glitched out there a little bit because. We knew we. I mean, obviously, we know Amelia eventually took over. I, I was curious if that is when this happened, and to actually see that moment occur was really cool. So, I, I'm glad that happened. It, it it adds more credibility to the season. I say the season didn't have any credibility, but in terms of in the overall narrative, uh, where this season fits and in, in importance is like where we were in this moment. When things changed on the train for so for such a long time until one one was, you know, brought back with uh, Tulip. But yeah, um, this was a big Kez episode, and like I've said earlier, like I, as much as I always say how much I love Kez, I, I do, I do, I love the character. Uh, I do recognize she has a lot of flaws, and a lot of it is like she has no, she takes no accountability for anything she does. Uh, she just does what she wants without really thinking about the consequences of how it might affect others. And that's very true. And we saw it throughout. We saw it with all the, the you know, the Densons that came to this car after her. And, but, but in regards to Morgan though, and what happened with Jeremy, that was, she did the right thing. She didn't do anything wrong there. 100%. Uh, but everything else, yeah. And like 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 Min said, you're a good person. You just gotta be better at it. I love that line. That's a great line. Uh, but the whole living castle thing was great. I mean, that that's something like that you could really make a I mean, you could really do a quality horror movie with something like that, like a possessed house. I know that's been done, but I feel like we we're I feel like we're due for another good horror movie with a premise like that. But yeah, the Living Castle thing is interesting. But now I'm very curious where this last episode's going to go. A train to Nowhere, right? I think that's what the episode's called. And now, what ha- what's that mean? Like, what's that mean for their numbers going down? Now that, like, Amelia has essentially taken over, how's that, does that, how much does that disrupt operations, Right. I think I call it the train to nowhere car. That doesn't make any sense. It's called the train to nowhere. <laughs> I was just looking at it. But. Yeah, I mean, I'm very curious if, if this means they get off the train or not. Wouldn't it be wild if they never do get off the train and there is a future season? There was supposed to be a future season bringing them back. Maybe they're, they've been here the entire time. They're probably they're, they would be very there will be much older men at that point oh that oh if that's how if that's what happens then i'm gonna be even more angry this show never got to continue oh but yeah let's do it let's watch the very final episode of infinity train the series finale the train to nowhere i hate getting to the last episode of shows gravity falls amphibia owl house are like the big three for me he's not gonna eat it Probably not. But we should still try, right? Is that Beef Wellington? Nice. Don't be naked. Don't be naked. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's brooding I don't in front of the fire. Talk. <laughs> then how about eating? I don't want to talk. Morgan, can I get a blanket? Nice. What's the point? Jeremy. Morgan's just going with years. it. Five. Think about that. Five years. Yeah, it's a ghost. <sighs> we'll get our exits eventually. I already got mine. What? Yeah. And even worse, I thought about taking it. And I was trapped? Yeah. But yeah, think yeah. about what you did, you though, trapped, to get that to happen. I exit, and I thought about using it. I didn't, but I thought about it. Okay, that food looks really good. I want and it. And then it disappeared. The train knew I was garbage. You're not garbage, dude. Come on. <sighs> Don't say things like that about yourself. All right, if no one's gonna eat that, I will. Eh, the Brussels sprouts. Eh, it depends how they're prepared. <laughs> He's still in the chair. 
We need to have a chicken choice Judy performance. That's what's gonna happen. Keeps coming back to that song. What are you doing, man? That looks like a little stage. You've been keeping in practice. I'm behind. I don't want you to outshine me when we get to New York. Yeah, you I've been I've been saying it. I need this to happen. After almost leaving you to die? You didn't leave me to die. You didn't leave, dude. You had a bad thought. I don't know if we'll sell a single album. We'll figure that out as we go. Do it together. But what I do know is that I hate finance. Yeah. I hate fair yes, men. restaurants. And I hate horse. Do what you want. <laughs> you stuck with me. So now you're stuck with me. Let's play already. Create your own path, man. Hell yeah. Yes, is Kez in the band? Oh, even down. Shut up. We'll never stop rocking. Oh, we need to we need to get Ryan plugged in. <laughs> nice. Zero! I told you! They had to perform! But his is not zero. Told you that was a big one. So, I don't know if that was just Min's or not. Damn, dude, why? He's not gonna leave him. Either both leave, or no. neither of us Oh, do. I'm glad that happened. Can you imagine if they did a screwed up ending like that? Oh no. Don't kill him. Oh, Kez? Why are you making me relive this? I was trying to help. Oh, I thought Kez stopped her. Kez isn't making you react this way. And her helping Jeremy was not about you. It was about helping someone you love. Yeah. I know you're mad at passengers, but I don't think you want to hurt us. I don't. Thank you for admitting that. I know some people who do. No, don't let them in. Uh. <laughs> now they don't have to be eyeballs no more. Welcome back. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't want anything bad to happen to that to them though. Come and get them. Shit. God, Morgan. So spiteful. I know you're hurt, but this isn't the way. What would Jeremy have, what would Jeremy think? No, Kez, we're not gonna run We're not gonna run anymore. Jeez, dude, you barely fit through there. I'm impressed, though. Well done. Apologize, Kez. Oh. What did you say? I'm sorry. That was very big of you. After everything you have put us through, you think an apology will work? You should forgive. Maybe. Yeah. Yes. It's always the best start. Isn't that what I always <laughs> tell you, my little angel? I'm sorry I tried to eat you. Oh, but see, everything's good so now. Angry. Hold up now. Pressured you into age scrambling your... <laughs> it's a sorry trade. No, no, Nigel. I won't Nigel. I should be the one sorry about that. I was going to say, why should she apologize to Morgan, but them? I forgot about them already. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I tried to push you. Yes, they're apologizing to each other. Is this it? I'm sorry I left you hanging and wasn't honest about how I felt. Sorry, ain't no justice I ever heard of. Oh, you're back. Y'all are too soft to do what needs to be done. Oh, God, get over it. Yes! Oh! <laughs> Hell, yeah, that was, uh, that was quite the strike. Nice. That's another thing I never was thinking about. Like, those two, Min and Ryan, they never actually, like, said sorry to each other for some, for some of those things they did to Morgan, each other. I'm, like, really sorry about everything with You're... Jeremy. Okay. I cared about him. And I care but you didn't you. do anything wrong. If you want me to say I feel better now, I don't. I don't agree with her I apologizing. I'm sorry. And now I have nothing. What you can, y'all can Maybe disagree with me on that one. Is the point? I'm sorry that she's I wasn't upset. Just rushing you, I was rushing myself. We're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm so happy it wasn't like a sad ending where they get stuck here. <laughs> I need to be alone right now. Kez. That must be hard though. Maybe. Be in the talk house. Later. Yes, being a castle where everyone's so, in uh, you. This like ended kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it kind of did. Mm. Aww. If you can get radio here, listen for us. Mm -hmm. Please tell me they get the go on uh, so tour. Kez, this might be too forward, and I didn't want to ask because it might be rude, but I'll never get a chance again, and uh -huh. I'll always be wondering. She's not going to let him do it, is, is she? Look at his face. <laughs> the music. The music's nailing it. Oh. Yes. Is she, was she okay with that? Is that offensive? Aww. I'm gonna miss Kez. Potentially happy ending. Yes, they're performing! And they're using Chicken Choice Duty, good. Min has upgraded. Okay. Train to nowhere, I like it. I love it. I love that they got to do this. Very happy with this ending. I still, while I love this, I'm very happy that they got their happy ending. There is a part of me that I felt the more interesting ending would have been them getting stuck here because of Amelia, Amelia's actions. And would have got to see them years later as older men. Do you have any cassettes for sale? Yes! We're doing it! We're... We're working on it. Someone wants to buy their music! They're on their way! Oh! It's over! That's it! That's it for Infinity Trade. Four seasons. Four... Very great, very wonderful seasons. It sucks we don't get more of it. I can't imagine what Owen Dennis had planned for this show because, like we've always said, that this type of show, I'm just from a creative standpoint, just infinite, literally, possibilities of stories to explore. And just the overall narrative and story of the train itself and the fact that we're never going to get that, like, get those answers on exactly how it came to be and really like why whoever made it made it and how it came to an exist how it came to exist we're never going to get those answers but you know we got four just wonderful stories throughout this series and i love that they got their happy ending i love that you know they all you know again me not paying you know not paying it not that i was paying attention but not coming to a realization that like you know no one's really said sorry to each other right like that's a big one there and just you know ryan finally you know saying like you know so you know I, I i tend to be a little way too forthcoming and try to make people do things that i don't know it I'm glad they got their happy ending. I am, but I would love, I would have thought it would have been cool to kind of explore that other thread if they, if they were ever to do that, that would have been kind of wild to see. Uh, I've, I've been very, I've been really cool to see someone besides Amelia who has been on this train for so long, like for years and years and years like that, right? For like a decade or two. Like that would have been really cool to see. Oh. Even if it was just one of them got off, like, I don't know. Sometimes I'm someone, I'm somebody who like kind of like enjoys a kind of darker ending, honestly. And I would have been all for that, but I'm happy they got their happy ending. I'm happy they got the, you know, go to New York, perform. And, uh, looks like they made a, they, they're going to get some fans. That's awesome. Kez finally, you know, acknowledging and taking responsibility and apologizing for her actions. And look what that did. Everyone was, they were all receptive to it. They all apologized to each other. It was just, uh, like I said, I called it a, a, a sorry trade. We even call it an apology train. Like everyone was just getting all about it. Um, I, I still stand by the fact that I don't think Kez really had to apologize to Morgan. Uh, again, it sucks. Uh, I'm sorry that Morgan has been hurt so many times because of the nature of the train with, with passengers coming through. 
but Kez did nothing wrong. I don't think Kez had anything to apologize for. I mean, again, maybe, uh, you know, sorry that you feel bad and feel sad and all that, but I didn't necessarily do anything wrong. I mean, that's where my position would be if I were Kez. But yeah, just incredible show. Loved every minute of it. I'm glad I watched it. Uh, again, I've always said it's a shame it doesn't have the audience it deserves. It, there's so many shows I've watched, particularly on this channel, that I feel like deserve a way larger audience. Uh, it's very funny because the shows I react to, the videos that do super well with viewership, the ones that don't do super well with viewership are the ones I feel like should be doing better than those shows. Because <laughs> some of the shows that I that don't get a lot of views on my channel end up being my favorite ones over the ones that are super popular. But, you know, everything I've watched has been really great. Uh but yeah, if I were to have to rank this series, if I were to rank the seasons, I probably would go season three, two, one, and four. I think that's how I would rank the seasons of this show. I think season three is just, oh, like that just had everything. It really did. It explored some really, you know, challenging topics and really explored some really just heavy themes and it was just it had everything and it had a villain that just was that you really just wanted to punch in the face of you know a lot of the times and one of the more gruesome deaths on the show for sure that that I mean it much deserved like I mean like I said I feel bad about Simon and that how he came to that place but I'm sorry. He had very a lot of opportunities to grow and move and just move forward and just about right refused to. So he had what he had he had it coming. I'm sorry. Like as much as his past shaped his future, how much many and many people, you know, Grace included, shaped his future. It, ultimately, it comes down to you and what you do with that. And you know, Simon just decided to go the wrong on the wrong path honestly uh but yeah that, definitely season three is my favorite and i in season two just tulip uh, uh metal to uh sorry lake lake's journey in that is just incredible you know just someone trying to find their place and find who they are i always appreciate a story like that and their journey was just oh it was it was wonderful to see and to see how it culminated was absolutely beautiful i was i'm wondering if, if they had plans to bring back characters from previous seasons like i like the idea of each season being kind of its own self-contained thing within a larger narrative but i wonder if there was ever plans to seeing those characters again right uh, particularly, you know, with Tulip. Tulip has no reflection. <laughs> Tulip lost her reflection with Lake, you know, separating and staying on the trade. But I would love to see where all those characters ended up, though. But no, it's it's a show I'm going to miss. This one I'm definitely going to miss. I really had a great time with it, and... Some shows I feel very content with ending, uh, because especially because they get a definitive ending, like like Amphibia. Amphibia has probably been one of the best shows I've watched on this channel. It's not my favorite show that I've watched, but it's definitely one of the best ones. And I felt content with that end because it was it was definitive ending. It got to conclude rightfully so, like the way the creator intended. And I miss it, but this one just like feels uneasy. Because I know there could have been more, and I know there was going to be just so much greatness with this, right? And it's a real shame. But yeah, folks, that's all I got for you. That's it. That's it. We're done with Infinity Train, unfortunately. That sucks, but it is done. We we were going to get to this point at some point. I want to thank all of you for joining me uh, with my journey through this wonderful series. Uh, thank you all for your just absolutely awesome comments, your theories. Uh, I really do appreciate you all sharing your thoughts and definitely share your thoughts on this one, on the series overall, uh, how you felt about it. I would love to know your rankings as well. So let me give me your uh, four season rankings of Infinity Train in the comments. I would love to see that. But thank you for uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me and watching me get many things wrong and some things right. Uh, 
but I do appreciate you all, you know, giving me, giving me your time. I really do. Uh, but again, if you did enjoy today's reaction, please don't forget to like the video. I really appreciate that as well. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. I don't got many more thoughts than that for Infinity Train. Again, thank you. And uh, check out the other shows on the channel if you want. I would really appreciate that as well. We're watching a lot of good stuff. So yeah, definitely check that stuff out and have a good one. Bye.